In the summer of 1997, the deep scattering layer of the Pacific Ocean screamed. Classified hydrophone arrays listening for strategic naval assets at the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility, Point Nemo, recorded an acoustic anomaly designated 97 Omega. The source level exceeded 230 decibels. For context, a biological entity attempting to vocalize at that amplitude would undergo catastrophic cellular resonance. The kinetic energy release was equivalent to a kiloton yield thermal event, yet it occurred in a lifeless void, a subaquatic graveyard where agencies discard deorbited spacecraft. To the human ear, the event is silent infrasound. But when NOAA engineers accelerated the audio by a factor of 16, the geology mimicked a biological vocalization. A groaning, organic sweep rising in frequency. We desperately wanted it to be a leviathan. The reality is far more indifferent. It was a massive cryoseismic fracture. An Antarctic ice shelf disintegration of such magnitude it rang the global ocean basin like a bell. The planet itself is generating distress signals. The frequency of these fractures is exponentially increasing. But the physics of the silence following the event are even worse.